I mean, your question is, just give up and quit. I'm the wrong guy to ask that question to. I never quit. I'm not working for some member sitting in our conference. I'm working for this country, and I'm never going to give up on the American people. I'm going to work every day. And you know what? If I come up short today, I'm going to work harder tomorrow. That's what I do. We have breaking news as we come on the air to you. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announcing just minutes ago he will be resigning from his congressional seat in California. This announcement coming two months after being voted out of the speakership. He says he will be leaving at the end of this year. Let's get you out to national correspondent Alana Austin, who's live for us right now on Capitol Hill. Alana, obviously there had been some rubblings, but now it is official. We know the House GOP is already dealing with a thin majority. So with this, it's about to shrink even more. Well, this certainly puts leadership in a challenging position here because they will, in the interim at least, lose that vote of Kevin McCarthy, another Republican, for a variety of key upcoming agenda items. But we know there are other departures, too, expected in the near term. We have Congressman Bill Johnson expected to leave Congress in March, and also New York Democratic Congressman Brian Higgins. He's expected to leave February 2nd. So the numbers are going to be budging a little bit here, but sources I have been checking in with say they do expect the House to be retained by Republican control, at least for the time being, and perhaps through the election. I mean, your question is, just give up and quit. I'm the wrong guy to ask that question to. I never quit.